What's up, gang? Welcome back to the channel. Thank you for stopping by. Thank you for taking the time out of your day to watch my content. Today, we're going to be playing Construction Simulator. That's going to be part one of a multi-part series on this game. Uh, really excited to get into this game. Uh, kind of want to tackle it. Like I said, we're going to be doing piece by piece, episode by episode. But uh, today, we're going to be getting into the tutorial. So uh, that's it. That's what I got for you guys. Make sure you subscribe. Uh, turn on notifications. Help me beat the algorithm for YouTube. Let other people know I'm making videos. And uh, join our Discord below. If you want to, it's there for you. But anyway, let's roll the intro and uh, get into the gameplay. See you there. A one horse town. One summer morning, you wake up in your small hometown, in the distance of rooftops of a sweltering city flash in the light of the sun. You vigorously forge plans for leaving this sleepy place as quickly as possible, but there's no escape without money or wheels. Then, out of the blue, an old acquaintance gets in touch. It's Hape, the owner of a small local construction company. It may look tough on the outside, but his heart's in the right place, and his guidance helps you quickly break into the industry. So it's time to set off for adventures in the world of self employed Awesome. A one horse town. Welcome to the opening campaign. Here you'll learn about all different types of game functions and the basic gameplay in addition. This tutorial contains a prologue to the story of the main game. You can skip the opening campaign at any time via the job menu if you're already familiar with the construction code. Construction simulator and want to start playing the main game straight away. You want to open the job menu. So we're going to play the tutorial. That way, you know, if you're just getting into construction, you'd rather watch somebody play than actually play it yourself, the tutorial. And uh, we'll go ahead and do it. That way you, you don't have to do it yourself. Alright, so our job. Let's see. Pipeline in the North Village. Job scope is medium. This many earning is 25000 Sweet. So, looks like we got to repair a pipe. Oh, there's Hape over there. Let's go see what, he, go see what he's got for us. Ah, good to see you again. Your active help is most welcome. I'm having a tough time keeping up with all the work. Do you know how many people around here are frustrated and thinking of moving away? If things keep going like that, this place could become a ghost town. To make matters worse, the water supply broke down this morning. It seems there's a crack in the pipeline. Uh -oh. So if you want to help give people here another chance, let's fix the water line first. Get in your tractor and go to the local building supply store. You'll find a new pipe section there ready for pickup. Just follow the navigation to get there. In the meantime, I'll head to the pipeline and take a closer look at the damage. All right, Hape, we'll meet you there. All right, so this wants us to get into the truck. All right, drive, 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 drive. Driving seemed pretty smooth. Let's see what the inside view looks like. Oh yeah, inside view looks pretty good too. Heck yeah. Well, at least we didn't have to drive very far. That's a plus. And screw that stop sign. So it looks like we got to hook up to a trailer. Ronnie? Sweet. So we got our uh, got our water pipe that we need to replace. All right, when you're ready, come to the pipeline. You have to install the new connecting line here and dispose of the old one. Pulling a trailer takes some practice. Be careful. All right, Mr. Hate. We shall be careful, sir. Oh, we don't have to go very far for this either. Very nice. All 
Park the tractor in the marked area. Oh, whoa, 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 whoa. What the hell was that? I mean, a slinger like that, Jesus. Alrighty. Oh yeah, that pipe is messed up. It is all jacked up, sir. Had to get it on out of there. Put a new one in. We're just the guy for the job. Oh hell yeah, we get to use a crane. Good old crane. Leave the construction machine. Alright. Okay, now switch to the mobile crane. Go ahead and rig this sucker up, shall we? Mobile crane. The mobile cranes are used on construction sites or on the road to lift heavy loads to elevated positions. In addition to their impressive maximum working height, mobile cranes are characterized by their flexible in one site use. Mobile crane, crane can be placed wherever it is needed in dependent of the area. Sweet. Push the fun ready. Alright, so I guess we got it where we need it. So let's change mode like it said. Sweet. Go ahead and rig her up. Yeah, see. Real life, that electric line would be uh, wanting to fry her shit. Scope it on out. Gotta get it to where we need it. I think that should be high enough. Oh yeah, that's plenty. That should be plenty. Once you're down. I think we scoped out a little bit too far actually. Just a wee bit too far. There we go, that ought to do it. A little bit over to the right. There we go. I just say we'll figure this out one of these days. Alright, and now that we got our broken pipe, load the division pipe onto the loading area of the trailer, and we will dispose of it later at the industrial estate. Alrighty, seems to be pretty straightforward. Let's go around a little bit more. That should be good right there. Go ahead and winch her down. Alrighty, let's grab the uh, good pipe. Controls actually feel pretty smooth on this crane. It just takes getting some use to. I'm playing on the Xbox controller. Takes get a gets getting used to on uh, up down left right all that good stuff, but honestly pretty smooth. Pretty smooth. And up real quick. Boom up. That should be just right. Could be. Looks like it will be. Cool. 
Very good, you're a natural. Now get back into the tractor and take the broken pipe to the scrap yard. Into the building yard in the entrance of town. Alright. Reset this piece of equipment. Change it back to driving mode. Alrighty. Let's go ahead and take our uh, bad pipe to the uh, yard for uh, scrapping. So we got like 600 meters. Not too tough. Not too bad. This truck sure does get squirrely. I can tell you that much right now. A while ago when I jackknifed, I barely even hit the brakes. And it almost caused me to turn the son of a gun over. But uh, I'll skip past this part, guys, and we'll see you at the yard. Alrighty, we're pulling in. Woo! I'm burning the bricks over here. Building yard discovered. Sweet! We did it! Alright, Mr. Hate, we completed our task. What you got for us now, man? I'm relieved. Thanks to your quick action replacing that broken piece, the water supply is repaired and back on. Good job. Since we're finished here, maybe you could give me a hand with something else. Why, well, sure, Hate. Old Joe owns a rundown motel on the outskirts of town. I've been promising him for a while that I would do some renovations on the place. Be a good fella and drive the flatbed truck over there. I'll follow behind and tell you what needs to be done. Roger that, Mr. Heap. Alrighty, so... I guess we're going to get into this right here. Alrighty, looks like we're going to be on our way to... Uh, wherever Mr. Heap wants us to go. I'll fast forward and uh, I'll meet you there, guys. Alrighty guys, should be pulling up any minute now. Alright. Alright Mr. Hape, uh, you got a freaking helicopter or what? Cause, uh, got here pretty quick. Old Joe wants us to pretty up his forecourt a little. I don't foresee any big problems. Joe's also been after a new sign on the motel roof for a while now. Something that travelers can see clearly from the highway. As it happens, there's a hotel in town that's about to be torn down. That sly nice. fox Joe picked up the neon sign letters cheap, and a crane operator on the construction site opposite owes me a favor. Drive by there later to pick up the letters. But first, let's take care of the forecourt. I have a roller ready for you. So get in and start compacting. Alrighty. Looks like we gotta compact the front of this for old Joe and then go to that hotel that's getting destroyed and uh, get those letters for his building. So, let's go ahead and get her done. Alright, let's go ahead and Turn the compactor on. Let's get some compacting done, baby. Come, we'll come back and get those uh, opposite edges. Right now, let's just focus on getting the big stuff. God dang, this thing has a wide turn radius. Jeez. Wow. Super duper wide turn radius. Turn our compactor back on here in a sec. Get her going. 
Go to first person real quick. Oh yeah. Way better. Way, way better. It's everything in the game pretty feels pretty smooth. Pretty smooth game so far. Quite impressed with the good old construction simulator. I think the last game that they that uh, this company put out, and I think it's like back in when I say like 2015. So it's been been quite a few years since uh, they put out a new game, but this one looks pretty polished. Looks like a pretty good polished game. Missed a little streak right there, but like I said, we'll come back and uh, come back and get those little bits here in a minute. Got a piece of trash on our compacted stuff. Let's see, well, at least uh, we're 81, 81% done. Oh shit, I hit a pole or whatever that is. All right, so it shouldn't be too much longer. It's probably got about another strip and a half. I should be able to complete the job. Come on, turn this thing around. Ease Louise. Yeah, it's probably come back and get that last little strip and they'll probably give us credit for it. Finish this sucker up. 96, 97. My last little strip, if we didn't get it, it would have bugged the crap out of me, so. I don't even think it's gonna get to let us get all of it, but we'll get as much of it as, as we can. Before I get this last little strip and probably be done. Yep, get her done. All right, so now let's turn this compactor off. Get out of this machine and get in the flatbed truck and go over there to that hotel and get those litters off. Fourteen hundred meters. So I'm gonna go ahead and fast forward, guys, and uh, I'll see you there at the hotel. All right, guys, we're in town now. Should be pulling up to the hotel pretty quick. Had a nice little drive through the uh, through the city. Pretty pretty big place. Park our truck right here. Alrighty, let's take a look at this grand hotel. Monument Hotel. So I believe we got to get these litters off here. So I guess we just magically enter. Works for me. Seems like it. Trolls are pretty easy and smooth. So. At least we got that going for us. Now load all five litters in the loading area of the flatbed truck. Okay, so. Yep, I guess we're gonna go and get these litters and take them back to uh, old Joe's place and put them on his building. Put this old down there. Change our view over here. So we look like, and yeah, we were a little bit off, weren't we? Got the T. Got the T.
All right, got the E. All right, guys, two more letters to go, and then we'll be on our way back. Got the L. Oh, so you can actually rotate stuff. That's pretty cool. Oh, get off there. Alrighty, guys, one more to go. Alrighty, now we got the M. So we got an M O T E L, so Ojo's gonna make himself a motel. Heck yeah. Go ahead and rotate this so it'll fit. So we can, it's gonna slide over here to the front. Go ahead and put her down. Alrighty guys, looks like we got all our letters. Now we can get the heck out of this crane and Go back and deliver these to Old Joe's building. Looks like we got another 1,400 meters to drive, guys. So I'll see you back at Old Joe's so we can uh, put these letters down. See you there. Alrighty, guys. We're about to be pulling back at Old Joe's spot. Put these letters on. It was a uh, pretty lengthy drive there. But uh, nice to see the scenery. I will be including more driving just with this tutorial. I just wanted to get it done and uh, let y'all see exactly what the tutorial has to offer to see if you want to play it. Maneuver in here real quick. Turn radius on these things is... Uh, not too good. Alrighty, let's turn on this so green. So yeah, exactly. So we got to put these letters onto uh, Old Joe's building. Yeah, we don't need no tutorial. We can figure it out. So basically, if you're playing on a controller, all this stuff basically works on uh, the joystick as far as booming up, booming down, all that good stuff. So The joysticks are your friends, and it's not that complicated to uh, learn. All right, got our first letter. All righty, we got our T put on. Uh, it makes it pretty nice that you can rotate stuff and you're picking it up. Three more to go. Let me know down in the comments below if y'all have uh, played any of these construction simulator games. Or let me know if you played the last one. The uh, one from uh, 2015. I never have, so... Just wanted to know if it uh, was pretty good or not. This thing's got so many joints and shit, man. It's hard to memorize what does what on the joysticks. But, I mean, the more you do it, probably uh, the better off you'll be. Two more for old Joe. Two more. And also with this game, uh, I got the, the DLC, which allows you to... Uh, um, 
actually uh, customize your vehicles and such. So that'll be pretty cool when we get our own construction company going. We can uh, go ahead and uh, make a company color and have all our equipment that one color. I'm ready to build some houses. There we go. Slap this O on here real quick. I'm pretty sure this game's on all platforms, so it's on Steam, it's on PlayStation, and it's on Xbox. Got it reset. Let's go ahead and put it back in driving mode. And it says we gotta clear the construction site, so I'm sure we gotta take this uh, truck somewhere. Maybe park it on the street, I'm guessing. Get it parked on the street. Alrighty, got it parked up. Let's go see what Mr. Hape's got to say to us. I bet he's pretty happy. I mean, he should be. We got old Joe's parking lot compacted, and we got uh, his old motel sign put up, so he should be pretty happy. Old Joe won't believe his eyes. The entryway looks better than when this place opened 30 years ago. Dang right. He did an excellent job. Even the recycled neon signs are working perfectly. You can finally see the motel from the highway. I'm sure it will start attracting tourists again. Do you have another minute you can spare? Then let's meet at the old gas station in town. Someone else there needs our help. Alrighty. Sweet, so that job paid us, I think, I think it paid us like 25 grand, so. Now we got 50 grand in the bank, not too bad. We're gonna be using that, uh, the hell? Oh, he's jamming out. Get on over there to the gas station. See what uh, see what these guys plan for us. I like this internal camera. So at least the old gas station not very far away, just 500 meters. So we'll get on over there and see what he's got. Maybe we got to pave that parking lot or. Something like that. Get the old gas station looking right. At least we improved uh, that old building. I mean, made it a lot better than what it was. Alrighty, that well, looks like we're gonna be doing some digging. What kind of digging we gonna be doing? Looks like we gotta back this thing up. Can't really do it on the inside of the camera because you ain't got no mirrors. So. Go ahead and change her up real quick. Oh, wait a second. That's mode, not camera. Let's go to drive mode. My bad, my bad. Get back here, then we can do the old. Uh... Alrighty. Oh, looks like we're looks like we're gonna replace an old fuel tank. I'm sure Hape will give us the rundown. What you got for us, old guy? This gas station, owned by Pete and his wife Helena, has been losing money for some time. But now that more tourists are stopping here off the highway, they want us to build a new tank. The old tank is already waiting for you to lift it out of its pit. I also got a backhoe loader for you, so you can refill the pit when the new tank is installed. Appreciate that. Then put some concrete on top, and you're done. Piece of cake, right? Looks like it. Alrighty, well at least it's already dug up, so we don't have to mess with that. I mean, heck, half the work's already done, really. 
All right, now we can go to that mode. Let's get this old tank out of the ground, shall we? It's green how it works. Should be plenty right there. Go ahead and drop her down. Alright, where's the new fuel tank at? Oh, right there behind us. This crane's actually pretty handy. I might have to get one of these whenever I start the hauling company. Lift her up. Well, like I said before, at least the mechanics and everything are pretty smooth. Graphics really look really good in this game. And it's a construction game, so I mean, how can you go wrong? So yeah, you can rotate stuff just like this. Hold, uh, if you're on controller on um, Xbox, it's B. Hold down B and then use your left joystick to rotate. Sweet, so we got our fuel take in. That's nice. Go ahead and reset this machine. Put it back into drive mode. Get into our backhoe and cover up the tank, or yeah, the tank. See how the controls are for this. Which the interior camera. I like the interior camera better just on equipment. It gives you a gives you a better uh, sense of play with the machine. Say we got a load. But it looks like on the right side where it shows our uh, miles per hour. Every time I get a load, that orange meter fills up. So I guess that shows you how uh, how much of a load you got with this backhoe. Sixty-eight percent. There we go. That's more like it. Ninety-three percent. So we've seen a little, a little bit more dirt, and then we'll have it filled up. Then I guess we're going to be on to our concrete pouring stage. It should be the last bucket. <laughs> Just automatically fills. Alrighty, drive to the vehicle dealer. Okay, so I guess we're taking this. Go get on the highway with the backhoe. Don't bother me any. So yeah, like I was saying, with the visuals of the game, the game looks smooth, runs smooth, graphics look really good, of course I have them all mine on high, so, my computer seems to be handling them just fine, so, plus, curious to see how this game runs on PlayStation and Xbox, might have to look some videos up on that and see how it plays. 
but for the most part, for the tutorial, it seems pretty fun. Vehicle to discover. Now take a seat in the concrete mixer. mixer. I got it ready for you. We need concrete from the gravel plant. Alrighty. So let's go get some concrete. Looks like we got a little bit of a drive, guys. So I will meet you at the concrete mixer to pour some concrete. See you there. Alrighty guys, point up to the concrete mixer right now. Let's go get some concrete in our truck. Tell me the turning radius on these things suck. Make sure we're lined up. Look like we're lined up. Oh crap, didn't mean to get out, my bad. Fill her on up. Well, at least it don't take that long to fill up stuff. That's good. Construction machine is full. How much did that cost us? Eh, if it did cost us anything, I didn't get a chance to see it. Sweetness. All right, guys. So we got a concrete for a hole. I'll see you back at the gas station. Alrighty, guys. Looks like we're back at the gas station now. So let's fill up our uh, hole with some concrete, shall we? All right. Looks like we need to back up into there. Pull forward real quick, and then we'll back up. Like we know what we're doing. All right. Get our shoot. Line it up. I think that should be all right right there. Start pouring. Heck yeah, good enough for us to go put our hands in it. Go ahead and reset our machine. Easy peasy, baby. Didn't do too bad of a job, if I say so myself. Alright, Mr. Hate, what you got for us? Pete and Helena bought this property back when the town was flourishing. Most businesses here are family owned like this one. It'd be a shame if they had to shut their doors because they're no longer profitable. Of course, things look pretty bleak if no visitors are coming to town. But you know what? Joe and I had a great idea that may sound a little crazy, but we have to give it a shot. What is it? Take the broken tank to Joe's motel. Then I'll fill you in over there. See you soon. Alrighty. Looks like Joe and Hate needs to uh, quit spending so much time together. So they uh, come up with some crazy ideas. Oh, looks like we we got to fill up, huh? Go ahead and fill her up with diesel. I like the aspect of the game that you have to fuel up. It's pretty cool. Alright, fuel. Are you also repair? Repair your vehicle here? Eh, it looks like bottom right, and that's where our uh, repair meter is, but looks like this truck's alright. So it's costing us like 50 bucks every time we uh, hit the button. 61 bucks, not too bad. 
We are fueled up. are fueled up and ready to go. Toddy. <laughs> I'm over here hitting freaking cars and shit. Well, this is a construction simulator, not police simulator, so I think we can get away with a couple things like that. But I'll see you uh, over there and uh, we'll get with Hape and Joe and see what we got. See you over there, guys. All right, guys, we're about to be pulling up and see what these... Uh, See what these old guys got in store for us. Coming up with crazy ideas and whatnot. He's already standing there waiting for me. He likes putting my ass to work. Alright, hate. What's your crazy idea? Ah, perfect timing. The preparations are underway. I'm sure you're wondering what exactly we're up to. 100%. Well, it's like this. We need something spectacular to keep this town from going completely under. So we'll work some magic here and special effects there. And presto, we'll have swarms of tourists coming for a peek with their cameras. On the outskirts, there's a place that we already set up for our plan. We just need your help to put the final piece in place. We should be finished by morning. Wonder what these old quirks cooked up, man. Oh, look at that hammer. I guess we got collectibles in the game or what? Rumor mill, huh? Oh, what the hell? Got a daggone spaceship. Well, I guess that would get uh, tourists and stuff coming to town, so. I guess they got a point. All right, got a collectible. One out of a hundred. Got a couple more to get. Turn on the headlights. All righty. Drive to the crash site. Yeah, they are... Uh, those old guys are cooking up some rumors. All right, guys. Well, I'll see you over there at the site. All right, guys. Pulling up to the site right now. Let's see what these old, old guys got stored for us. Um, looks like we might be burying the spaceship. Guess so. Turn on our lights. Turn on all our lights. That's our hazard light. Work lights. Sweet. Alright, looks like we need to excavate. I guess we're going to be burying this spaceship, I guess. Makes sense, because they want to get tourists and stuff to the towns. I guess it makes sense in that aspect. Giving this to percent while they're gone. Probably good right there. Getting more and more used to the controls.
I can empty my daggum bucket. Ninety-two percent. But by one more bucket full, we should have this trench dig. I guess they're gonna lie and say a freaking alien spaceship crashed and try to get tourists to come and take pictures with them. Daggum liars. Alright, so we got 100% of our trench dug. That's good. Oh, okay, I see. So we gotta put the spaceship in there. I wonder if this is gonna be like one of the most used pieces of equipment in this game. Might be. Old hate flex this for you. <laughs> now it's really flying. Alrighty, when you finish, come back to the office. There's something I need to discuss with you. Alrighty, go ahead and reset her. Put it back into drive mode. Pretty cool. I want to take a look at it real quick. I guess I guess people would think that that uh, that crash and wanted to take a picture. Dirty tactic, but it'd probably work. Alrighty, guys. Well, I will see you back at Hape's office and uh, see what he has to discuss with us. I'll see you there. Alrighty, guys. We're pulling up. We had to see what uh, Oh Hape has for us. Said he wants to discuss something. So. Hopefully it's good news and not bad, yeah? Go ahead and park this inside the gate real quick. See what he wants. What you got for us, hate? At last! There you are! Now all we have to do is keep our mouths shut and see what happens. But one thing's as certain as the sun rising in the morning. The people in this town love rumors and headlines. Soon, everyone will be talking about the glowing object from another world. I'm sure of that. <laughs> and all thanks to your help. Good job. Listen, to be honest, I'm pretty satisfied with what I've done with my life. My career has been rock solid, but I also think it's high time that I retire. My business is small, but in good shape, and it needs someone to pick up the reins. And I honestly can't think of anyone better for this job than you. So, what Sweet. do you say? I'd stick around for a while to help until you're on your feet. Deal? That's a deal, hey. I will so take over your company. Let's go ahead and acquire it. Congratulations on running your very own company. If you want it to succeed, you should stop by regularly and familiarize yourself with everything. Will do, will I recommend do. you first take a close look at the upgrade levels and start meeting the goals listed there. It's the only way to qualify for the big jobs in town so you can someday leave this place behind. You should also take a look at the vehicle fleet and the finances to see what it takes to manage your construction equipment and get an overview of your financial situation. But the most important thing is fulfilling the orders. It's the only way you can make money to keep expanding your business and afford new construction equipment. So get to it. Running a company isn't an easy job, but the best way to start is by getting started. The rest will work itself out. Trust me, and I'm still here for you. Alrighty, hey. Appreciate the company, friend. I will do you proud. 
Smash Mouth Co. <laughs> like it. Sweet. It looks like we can do our own stuff from now on. If a second village now it's time to minimum jobs. Sweet. Alrighty guys, this is where I'm gonna end it right here. Next episode we'll go ahead and start our own projects and get our company rolling. Just wanted you to get uh, to see the tutorial, that way you can kinda see what it offers, see if you want to play it or skip it. But I appreciate you for taking the, your time out of your day to watch my videos. And subscribe to the channel and join our Discord down below. Appreciate it guys, and stay tuned because I'll be uh, keep going with this series. And like I said, we'll get into our own company and everything. I appreciate it. Y'all have a good day, and I'll see you in the next video.